Park Manager's Collection Pack was announced today, and I am laughing my ass off that it isn't mammals. A lot of people convinced themselves it was mammals, and I find it really funny that it isn't. But with that little side tangent over, the Park Manager's Collection Pack looks like a pretty good pack. All the creatures look good, except for one of them, and I'm excited to have them all in the game. So, I'm just gonna jump right into the analysis and share my opinions on this pack and all the new creatures. The first creature the trailer shows off is Danatos Dracon, and I really like its design. I really like the pattern it has on its beak, and I really like that it picks up the goat at the end of the trailer. I think that's pretty funny. And from what I've seen on the Reddit, it looks like that it's going to be smaller than Quetz, but still really big. But that's not really a shocker, because the Quetz in this game is absolutely massive. If you don't know... They way oversized the Quetzalcoatlus for the movie. And then they downsized it quite a bit for this game. And it is still massive! I don't think many people realize how absolutely massive the Quetzalcoatlus is in this game. It can have a staring contest with a Camarasaurus. A goddamn sauropod! But with all of that being said, I really like its design and I'm excited for it to be in the game. The next creature they show off is Segisaurus. Yeah, this is the one creature I don't like. If Segisaurus wasn't a canon species, it would not even be in consideration for this game. It is just a reskinned Coelophysis, and it's probably going to have good animations. It's a DLC creature. It obviously is going to have good animations, but I'm just upset that we didn't get something cooler, like a Prosauropod or Irritator or literally anything else as both of those creatures would have been much more unique, and they are also better. Side tangent, I'm actually surprised that this game doesn't have a pro sauropod. But with the side tangent over, I hope it has good animations, because so far I don't really like the Segisaurus that much. The next creature they show off is the Megalodon. People have been wanting the Megalodon since Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out. People have been begging for Megalodon for years at this point, and when Dunkleosteus was first teased, People thought it was a Megalodon, but Frontier trolled us with the Dunkleosteus, which I'm not complaining, I actually really like the Dunk. But from what I've seen, the Megalodon has some really good skins, and I'm happy it can eat from the shark feeder. I really like that there's counter shading while also having good colors on the Megalodon. And I really like the spots on the top of its back that looks like the spots that smaller sharks would have. And I also love the colors on its skin. The one skin that showed off that looks yellow is amazing, and I love it a lot. And the final creature is Microceratus. People have been wanting this creature for two years at this point. It's probably the most requested creature in the entire game. And I know plenty of people are ecstatic that they're adding it. And honestly... I can get why. Although I think Protoceratops is better and I would have preferred that, I really like what they showed off with the Microceratus so far. It's the perfect mix of cute and ugly, and I love the skin with the purple frill. It looks so good. If you know me personally, you would know I want more purple dinosaurs in this game, as purple's my favorite color, and I think it's underrepresented in this game. But... All in all, all of these species look really good, and also they're adding a Little Edie skin. I'm not a giant Camp Cretaceous fan, but searching up the Little Edie skin, it actually looks pretty decent, and I would probably use it quite a bit. I already used the Big Edie skin quite a bit, and it's one of my favorite Rex skins. And they're adding kelp! People have been wanting kelp ever since the game came out, and they had that intro with the Mosasaur swimming through the kelp. The kelp that they've shown off looks really good, and it's going to add a lot of variety to the lagoons, because now you could do more than just coral reefs. And Evolution Square is going to be happy about this one. They're adding the lagoon lights that can illuminate your park and make it look very pretty. So, all in all, I'm really excited for this update and DLC. Tell me what y'all think about it in the comments. And bye bye y'all. Have a good day.